score here for this one. And look how still he's keeping the weight. And that's what's worked for him. And that's a good distance, 13 and a half metres for the Latvian. Rock solid as he went round. So there's the secret. Make sure that when you lift it up off the floor, you don't let the weight swing. Alexei Serebyakov of the Russian Federation will have been watching that and he repeats it. Same technique, same result. Look at those powerful quads and calves driving this out around the track. Serebyakov has sailed past the 13 and a half meter mark of Kozelniks. How much further can he go? It's slipping, it's slipping, and down it goes. Good effort from him. And he sets the new distance of 17 and a half metres. And based on what we've seen so far and with the taller men, not always doing so well at this event. I think Sherevzhikov has set a really good distance. Igor Pedan. Appropriate music for him as he thumps it out round this track. Look out, the Giants coming. Well, he's got himself into the reckoning without doubt as Pedan. He's gone past Kazelniks, but he drops it. Well, half a metre past 13 and a half that Kazelniks set, and then down it went. The trophies that await the winner. Will it be this man, Sebastian Venter? He already has one of those back on his mantelpiece in Poland. Oh, dear. And he's having problems even getting the weight off the floor. That is most unventer like but now he's away. Look at the stride length that this guy possesses. He just eats up the tarmac. Venter pushing for 17 and a half. He'll at least want to get past Pedan at 14. And here he comes towards Pedan's mark. Past it he goes and only one meter past it. So 15 meters for Sebastian Venter. That was a little bit hard to handle. But it was okay. The competition though is very strong. Oh, the familiar cheer for Polska. That's the Polish name for Poland. You'll often hear that from the fans. Venter is turning in a really super performance here in Moscow. Laying in second place at the moment in this uh, Conan wheel. Irving Katana also going well. We've already said he's Mr. Consistent in this United Strongman series. And this is one of those events where consistency will be desperately important. He too having the same problems as Katana to shift it, but this man has got some guts. He really has 380k off the floor. And away he goes. It's not the best technique from Katana. It's all animal power here. And he's running out of steam. He's running out of legs. And in the end, Katana, 12 and a half meters. this way. Not my events, but I all day most feel really good. I don't sleep because new bed and I can sleep <laughs> in the Belgrade I was home. But it's much better. Maybe not today, but next competition. For me important in first sense. It's very really important for me. I can't every time win. Well, he's got a very good chance of finishing first six and you've got to admire the athletes attempting interviews in their second language. Nice to hear from Irving Katana. Now, Jeff Dolan from Canada. He's had some reasonable form on the United Strongman Series in the past, but this one I think is going to be a tough ask for Dolan. I like his technique early on, but you can see it's maximum effort for this man. And he just sneaks past the seven and a half meter mark. Eight and a half meters for Jeff Dolan of Canada. And some real pain in the arms. I think that might be an injury that could force Jeff Dolan to retire from this Moscow event. Well, Sherebyakov of Russia takes the 12 points. Venter takes 11. Pedan sneaks in with 10 in third place. Well, as always, the culture of every city that the United Strongman Series visits is tremendously important. And the culture today is all about folk dancing and folklore in Moscow. Time for the big boys to have a go.
Darle los clavos a Jesús en Nazareno. Para su, para su. On to the stones. Not the Atlas stones this week, but natural stones, and we know what that means. Sharp edges and very difficult objects to control weight-wise. So first up, Magzuta Vasislav. Let's work from him for the first stone. Speed important across the first two. If you can get those up and out of the way, you buy yourself a bit of time as the weights increase gradually. 140k next up. For how much uh, that was a struggle when it was lifted as the log and the athletes had proper grips on that. The effort though from Majuta. The problem is the more successful you are, the heavier it gets. 160 kilograms of awkward object to shift. And he's done it brilliantly. This is a very, very good effort. And the Russians called in a day before the last one. Discretion being the better part of valour on that occasion. Well, if he struggled with 140 and 160, I'm wondering how many more athletes are going to go to the end. And I think the time that he recorded, 46.12 seconds for getting up to the 160 stone, that's going to be quite important at the end of this event. Now, Shuprinen, good at the stones, we know that. So depending on his performance, it will show us just how tough this particular event is. And if that last stone is out of reach, then the first four are exactly where this competition is going to be fought out. So 120's up, 140 next. Shuprinen, not bending the legs at all on that lift, he's putting the back under a lot of pressure here. Moves round to the stone at which Machuta stopped. 160. This one's sort of long and thin, but he's rocked it up into position. That's good work. That was an at the stone star lift. Now, is he going to have a bash at this last stone? He's thinking about it. And he needs help from somewhere. He's okay on time. Got a good 30 seconds to have a bash at this if he wants. I don't think he wants to. He's hanging around. Well, he got to the last stone in 42.37 seconds. So he's beaten the time of Matsuka, even if he lifts this or not. Dear me. And that is going to be pretty close to the feet if he drops that halfway up. And he's timed out. Well, a big stare at that stone. But that's not going to move it. Kirillo Shuplin at least had a go at that last stone, but uh, 160 was as far as he could go. But he did it in a good time. So at the moment, Shuplin, without completing the course, leads. Now this man is impressed. The 42-year-old 40 40 year Grenada, who's 